Hi, this is Kevin with Naples Lawn Service, and today we're going to be talking about how to put spotlights, fog lights on your tractor, and how to build them from scratch and put them on there for less than what you can buy them for. So we added these spotlights up here, and for under $90, it was really easy. And I'll tell you how we did it. We just went down to the marine section of the hardware store and we bought us two galvanized rollers brackets without the rollers in it and four u-bolts that were three inches wide and some brackets on the other side of the u-bolts and some spacers and some nuts and that was it and uh, it's very easy to do just go down to your local marine store because I put heavy-duty stuff on there they're all galvanized this stuff's made for trailers, so it's rugged. It is never going to break off, and uh, it's really a, a really a neat way to do it. And uh, I'll just show you here in, the, in these pictures the materials and the parts that we started with. So with these parts, we figured this, this roll bar is about three inches wide. And so we got brackets that were three inches wide. And uh, we got the U-bolts, um, the, the brackets, everything. It was all galvanized, all trailer parts. Okay, and then we just got these lights. They're not LED, they're only halogens, but man, are they bright. And uh, they were like 15 bucks a piece. They just called them tractor implement lights. They were on the shelf in the hardware store. And uh, once we got all the parts out, we spray painted them black. And uh, so it would all match the roll bar. And then we installed them. Very easy to install. And. Uh, then we added the wiring. Now for this wiring, when every time I have like an old appliance or a shop vac or something like that, if I gotta throw it out, I just cut the cord off for the for, so I can save it for wires. But you can just get in any old wires. But uh, I just cut a sh cord off a little shop vac and I ran it down here and I tie strapped it in. And then I tied it in with this, this tail light because when you turn on your headlight switch, these tail lights come on. And so I just tied it into there. It's only two wires and uh, ran the wire up and then there, there you go. And I'm going to show you some nighttime pictures as well and just how bright they are. But anyway, on this, uh, there's two bolts right here on the other side of these lights. I'll show you the bolts right now. Okay, these two bolts right here, they, they just come right out and this whole appliance comes off. You'll see wires going to this, wires going to that. And I just cut into the wires going for this. And I spliced these in here with some wire nuts. And uh, that's it. Shoved this thing back on, bolted it back on. And what, what I would have liked to do was run this wire down inside of here. But the only problem is when you get down to the roll bar, when you get down to here, it, it's welded shut. And I'm sure this bottom one is too. So even though I would have liked to run it down the inside of here, it was impossible. So I had to run it on the outside and just, just tie strap it. So these lights just come with a little dinky bracket about one inch wide with one bolt. And I did not want to drill holes into this because I didn't want to weaken the roll bar. And so that's why I went out and bought these brackets. And I didn't want them to get busted off. Okay, but to mount this light, you had to have a like a, 
I don't know, it was four inches, four and a half inch long, quarter 20 bolt, and you just run it through there. I had to have some spacers because the bolt only goes through part of the light. So we just got some PVC, I think it was 3 8 PVC or something, and we just cut two little pieces of PVC for our spacers, and then ran the bolt in through a spacer, through the light, another little spacer. These are just pieces of PVC pipe, and we just painted them. Then come on the other side and uh, used a washer and used our uh, lock nut. And the lock nut is, is uh, so it can't be, cannot back itself off. So you can get a closer look at these three inch wide U brackets, had to have four of them. And they come through this old uh, galvanized roller off the trailer parts. And then these bolts were actually a little bit too long, so I had to put some spacers in here. And I could have used PVC pipe for these spacers, but I had some stainless steel old sockets in the shop that you couldn't read anymore anyway. So, so instead of PVC, I put some stainless steel sockets, sockets in there. And uh, that way everything's either stainless steel or galvanized. And so that's what I did. I just took four sockets, but I wouldn't expect you to get out of the store and buy those. You can just use use PVC. I'm just telling you, I, I just used old sockets and I spray painted them black. So underneath, I have these brackets here. I think they're like four inches long or something. But uh, these brackets, and they got a hole on each end. And so once you mount this old bunk roller to your roll bar, then you just push these brackets up on there. Okay, then you put on your spacers and then you put on your nuts and we just spray painted it at the end a little touch up but that's how this roller bracket attaches to your roll bar with two of those plates and spacers and then nuts and bolts and I'll tell you what these are this setup is so rugged these are galvanized brackets you can't budge these you can't break them you'll never bend them i mean they are top of the notch top notch heavy duty way to go so there you have it on the parts and the installation and the reason we did this is because this tractor uh is a 3025e john deere it only comes with these two lights up here and they're not that bright and then when you're moving your bucket up and down you don't have any light so i'll tell you what i worked all night last night with these fog lights on and man it lights this place up like a christmas tree in fact it's so bright if you got to have a bug problem i mean they're going to swarm in there i mean it's it is so bright and uh, really did an excellent job so for under 90 bucks there's a homemade way you can add some lights. They look good. They're strong as they could possibly be, better than anything on the market. And uh, you can have fog lights to any, any of your subcompact tractors, whether it be John Deere or any other make. So now we're all lit up. So if the sun sets, we can go do a job at nighttime or just a little bit after dark. We'll have all the light in the world that we need. It's a quick, easy, inexpensive way to put some floodlights on your tractor and they're probably 10 times as strong as anything you'll ever find on the market and it's easy to do you can do it yourself and if you like this video just hit the subscribe button we'll have plenty more videos coming out for you to consider